G'day everyone, Austin from Jacob's Fishing. This is how to tie a gummy shark rig, so let's get into it. What you're gonna need is some 60 pound leader, little swivel, sinker clip, 80 circle hook, some 20 pound mono. What you're gonna start off by doing is grabbing your leader on about arm's length of line. So the scissors, cut that off. Next, you're gonna grab your 80 circle hook these circle hooks are good. The gummy shark, they'll come along. They'll feed in small schools together and depends, two, three. They'll come along. He's going to eat. He's going to eat your bait. He's going to eat it all up. They, these circle hooks, they'll go in the mouth and then they're going to, when the gummy shark goes to swim away with your bait after he's just eaten it, they're going to turn around. Right, these, these circle hooks are made to roll and as it turns away, it's going to hook straight in the side of his jaw and bang, you're on. Now, you're going to grab your, your leader you just cut off, thread that through the eye of your hook, get a bit of your tag, make a loop with that, grab your tag, wrap that around your, your line six times, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then that loop you made at the start, that small loop, thread that back through, thread your tag back through there. You can see that there, it's the loop here. And then you wanna grab your tag and bring it through that bigger loop that just got made when you did that. Now, hold that in my mouth. Don't hook yourself. There you go. Lube that up a bit. Got a nice knot there that's not knotted yet. You wanna pull that tight, as you just saw it, not pulled nice and snug there. Give it some tension. Pull the tag. That's gonna lock in like that. Nice knot there your tag and then you're going to cut your tag off next you're going to grab your swivel this so with your swivel you get the other side of your your leader got your arms length of leader with your hook on the end there then you grab your barrel swivel thread that through half blood knot make your small loop again oh not like that Make your loop, wrap that tag around one, two, three, four, five, six. You know, you twist that loop you made at the start, bring your tag back through there, and then that makes another loop. And then you want to put your tag back through that loop. That one's going to go nice. Grab your tag, I just hold it on my teeth. And then, nice perfect knot straight down to your swivel. Then you just wanna lube it up a bit. There you go, nice, nice knot on your swivel there. Scissors, cut off your nice tag you got there. I'm saying nice, Not nice, it's annoying. There you go. Hook, swivel, about meter of line. Now you want to grab, actually you want this first, you want your, your little sinker clip. What you're going to do is you want to take that clip off of that little red bit. So thread that off all the way. There you go, take that off, don't need that. And you got that. Now, this is what the 20 pound mono was for. This is, you want about, I, I get it, you can get about 30 centimeters, just cut a bit off extra, bang. About 50 centimeters, I'd say, 60 centimeters. And then, with this, you don't need to do any fancy knot, because what this, what this lighter line 20 pound is for, 
is because you'll sink or tie on the bottom of this. And if you you got a, if you hook on a good fish and your sinker gets stuck in the bottom in all of the reef and the coral, and then the fish is trying to swim around, instead of breaking the fish off and having to lose it, this will this is a lot lighter line. So if you just give it a big tug, this will just snap, you'll lose your sinker and you can get your fish in nice and easy. All you get, you grab this, thread your line through the little hole there where you just took the clip off. Don't even do any special knot, literally. Just like a granny knot or whatever it is. Because it'll hold, you just literally just tie that a few around a few times. Go one. Two. Because you want the sinker to be able to come off easy if it needs to. But if it doesn't need to, if it's not stuck, it'll be all right. It'll just come straight up with you. Hook and everything. There you go, I've just done a little granny knot three times. Pull that nice and tight. There's your tag. Cut the tag off. And now you got that. Now we're gonna do a drop loop. How to tie a drop loop is you wanna double up your line at the bottom. So you got it like that. And then a bit down, you wanna hold it like that. So you, this is the end of it. You wanna hold it like this and you wanna Make a loop, oh, just let go. You wanna make another loop with that loop. So this is what it looks like. And then you wanna thread that loop that got made when you doubled it around. So you wanna thread that through here, through the smaller loop, if I can. A bit fiddly sometimes. You wanna thread that through once. And then you want to thread that through once again. Why does this never want to work out for me? There you go. Thread that through twice and then you just pull that tight. Perfect little knot there, as you can see. Just get your tag. And cut it straight off. And there's your perfect little dropper loop. Now what you do, grab your main line from your rod. Normally you can add a bead, like a little Lumo bead on here just to protect your rod tip. So when you wind it up, instead of just smashing the plastic up on there and breaking it, you got a little bit of squishiness and protection, but I don't have any with me at the moment. But if you do, you can use that. Some people don't even do it. Then you put that on, so you have your Lumo bead, this, and then you want to tie your swivel on. But some people also put a Lumo bead here just to protect the knot on the swivel that this will tie to, just so this doesn't smash it around. I don't know, it's up to you really. Just extra safety. Line through there, through the swivel. Make your loop, same mold. Half blood knot, one, two, three, just gonna rush through it. Four, five, and six. Put that through that little loop at the start. Got that other big loop. Bring it back through. Put the tag. Bit of lube up. Bit of lube on it. There you go. Then you pull that tight, you just grab both of them. People say don't use your teeth because you ruin the line and just break and it'll give it a better chance of breaking, but I've never had the problem. I don't see why not then. Nice and tight. Or you can use your fingernails to slide it down. That's only if you're a little boy like me and don't have much muscle. There you go. Not there. Scissors. Cut your tag off. Now back to your little sinker clip thing. 
you got your breakaway line here. And what that does is just grab size four sinker. Depends on your depends on the current where you're fishing for gummy sharks. Like if you're fishing out deep, the current might be stronger, or it's deeper and you need to get down faster. It all depends. But this is size four. It's just what I'm using for example. You get your drop loop, sinker, the hole in the sinker that you thread this through. Get, grab that loop and you want to get it down like nice and small like that so you can fit that through the sinker there then you have your loop come out there with your sinker on that line you want to grab the loop that that dropper loop that you tied before and you want to put that around the sinker like that done you just give that a nice little tug and that's all good and then you left yourself with You got your rod here, main line down to your little clip bit there, to a sinker. That's a running sinker, so you'll see that'll run up and down the line. About a meter or so around there of 60 pound leader, and your 80 circle hook. So there you go, that's how you tie your own, your own gummy rig. Hope you enjoyed, on this account, I'll probably be making videos with my dad out on the boat and stuff. Comment comment any suggestions of what you want me to do and I'll, I'll do it for you. Any knots you want me to tie. But yeah, that's all. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you on the next one. See ya.